What's up guys, it's me, you already know me. Today we're going to be installing Windows 11 on the laptop that you already know. The Sony Vivo, which has been to me, which currently has Windows 8 Beta. And it's very unstable, as you can tell. See you guys later. Bye. That was not planned. I got a blue screen. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna be installing Windows 11 on this machine. But the but there's a problem. Normal Windows 11 requires a TPM 2.0 chip and secure boot, which this computer does not support that any of those stuff. Now there's ways to bypass that by commands, but basically. That's just modifying the OS. That's not selling it normally. But in this USB drive, I have a version of Windows 11 that doesn't require TPN 2.0 chip or secure boot. And it's running on my computer. So if you already know what it is, leave your guess in the comments before I tell you. So yeah, you leave your guess in the comments if the comments are not disabled. So uh, yeah. Let's turn this thing on. Press the F11 key. Alright, let's see if the ISO is here. I think I found it. Hopefully you think of it. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Let, let me zoom in on this. Alright. I zoom in on this. So, uh, yeah. Let's wait for the, for the loading thingy to show. And I did test this ISO before. I did install it. I did test to see if it, if it will boot. And that's it. That's the only thing I tested. I didn't do anything else. I didn't touch the keyboard. I just tested if it will boot. And then, and then once I got the information confirmed, I just shut the computer off. So uh, yeah, this computer. If you don't know, we were the first video that I did on this compute on this laptop. We restored back to factory settings. Now we install almost every version of Windows and well, customer. Well, yeah, we haven't installed like yeah. I don't know how to answer it, but now we're on the Windows 11 installation. Now your time is up for guessing in the comments what version of Windows is if the comments are. This innate, if the comments are enabled, you can comment, but you can stop now because this is Tiny11, which I do have installed on my own computer. So, uh, yeah, agree to the license agreement. There's no upgrade process now. Every time I see multiple drives, I just delete all of them. I'll just delete the ones that I can, like that, and then I'll start the installation. And yep. And as always, as every single other of my videos when I install versions of Windows, the waiting time begins. Uh, give the time that there is going to be any. Number 15 Whopper, 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 Whopper Junior Double, Triple Whopper Flame Grill taste with perfect toppers I will, I will, I will this day Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup It's okay if I don't want that If possible, a will bake yeah, Whopper, any Whopper, my way Whopper, my way Whopper, 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 Whopper Junior Double, Triple Whopper Flame Grill taste with perfect toppers I will, I will this, this day day <laughs>
Alright, we're here, which means we can finally remove the USB drive. And there is sound because the intro played very slowly. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, United States. Yeah. I don't know why the button is like that. But yeah, like I said, this is like normal Windows 11. I can set it up as normal. Skip. Alright. Time to enter my internet information. If, yeah. Time to enter my internet information. So I'll be right back. Alright. I connected to the internet. So checking for updates. Let's wait. Now, I'm pretty sure you can already tell that Windows 11 wasn't designed for any old laptop because the drivers don't come pre-installed, so we, we have to connect to the internet so we can install the drivers ourselves. And, and yeah, thankfully it doesn't ask for a Microsoft account. Let's type in my username. And those six five zero two. Yep, I think I typed that right. Yep. Next password. We don't care about password. All right. Should we turn this off? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, no. Can I go back? Oh. Uh, can I go back so I can disable the privacy? Uh, well, well, I tried. It's okay, there, Gibby. I can't go back. Yep. Oh, there's the high thingy. All right, we're in. It adjust. It finally adjusted the screen. So let's get rid of some of these stuff. Don't worry, these are shortcuts. They're not apps that they're installed. What I mean, once you click them, they will install. Yeah, some apps are still installed that I don't like, like Sticky Note. Uninstall. 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 Yeah, but there's one thing you will notice. There's no Microsoft Edge. Great, because I hate Microsoft Edge. But that means, oh no, we have no web browser. Luckily, I, luckily, I'm already came prepared. Let me search for that USB drive. If I had it here. Oh, I, I, I found it. Wait, I found it. There we go, I found it. Let me put this thing back in. I think this is the one that has the... the web browser. But first, I want to see if without any drivers that this thing can connect to another, to another display. Let's try it out with my main display that I always use every time you take it out of the HDMI of the, uh, my laptop oops hopefully it doesn't cause any issues alright I'm on oh never mind let's try the other display that I used that you always see in my videos Alright, good news, it does work. Hmm. 
Let's try VGA now. So it looks like that I'm gonna need drivers for VGA because HDMI works, but VGA doesn't. Which is weird because when this thing had Windows 7, my VGA monitor that I had, which is in the, which is, I put it somewhere, I don't remember where I put it, but when I plugged it in with VGA, it would show the picture. Nope. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just me. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I need drivers. So, uh, yeah, let me get, go back to the position that you were. were. Alright, let me put the USB drive in so I can install the web browser if it is this one. I don't know what's wrong with the VGA cable. Nope. So it's the other one. Let me get that right now. I think it's this one. Wait, why is it not showing? Oh, there it is. I don't see... Oh, there's Chrome. Now there's like no programs downloaded. I said this one now it's going to be... I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to install drivers. So let me get control panel. Con okay, let's get drivers. Drive. Oh, don't tell me it will open the modern settings UI. And I don't know why they just. Windows update? If I check this, it will do a bunch of updates. I uh, don't know. Wait, the control tab does not work? Huh? What's going on? And why is this stuff open? This is not a file manager. I want to install drivers. Oh, finally Chrome open. Oh, it's now gone. But it's somehow pinned in the taskbar for some reason. I don't see a scroll bar. Oh, there we go. Uh, I need to install the drivers. Let me unplug the USB drive. I need to install drivers because somehow Windows 7 VGA worked and HDMI too, but I don't know why it here doesn't work. Okay, I got it. Okay, now we have Chrome. Let's get these stuff. Let's get the bloatware. Uninstall. Yes. Uninstall. Uninstall. Even though I use that for editing. Solitaire. I played the mobile version of Solitaire. I 
I don't know what to do with the dope layer, but I'll install it and I will uninstall it. And there we go. Okay, let's get dry. Let's see there. Okay, so let's see if there's any drivers missing. Oh, yeah, there's definitely any drivers missing. Search by the internet. Search by the internet. I don't do the Windows update, but don't complain that Windows is going to make me install a bunch of other versions. Alright. Uh. <sighs> no. I need the VGA driver. Fine, I'll do Windows. I'll do check updates. No, uh, fine. So basic. So while we wait for this, basically, Tiny Eleven is a light version of Windows Eleven that removes all the bloatware, including Microsoft Edge. So that means we can let to. We can literally install this on any device since it removes the requirements of TPN 2.0 and Secure Boot, which this computer does not support. So that means we can install modern Windows programs on this computer and even modern Windows. I don't know who made this ISO, but yeah. Whoever did it, you're a legend. Whoever did this Tiny 11 ISO, you're a legend. Since now you, since now they opened the compatibility of a world of compatibility for other devices to get a second chance of life by installing normal Windows 11. And look at all these OSs. Yeah, I basically keep. I basically when I install Tiny 11, my own computer basically kept it on its original version that it still that has and it still is. So, so that way it doesn't take out that much storage because let's just say my computer needs a hard drive upgrade or a storage upgrade and I don't know how to do that. And even if I knew I don't know how to clone the hard drive or the SSD or whatever it's using. This computer is using a normal spinning mechanical hard drive which are famous to fail. Oh yeah look at all those updates. Alright, that one is done. The top one is done downloading. Alright, downloading. Alright, let's download all of them. Let's get rid of this. And we do need to activate this. If you want to download Tiny11, just let you just to let you know it doesn't come with a web browser. So you're gonna have to provide your own web browser. Like Chrome. But yeah, I just wanted to remind you that it doesn't come with a web browser. So uh, yeah, be aware of that. Uh, yep, the top one just started downloading. So this having access yet to restart our computer. This is installing, installing. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. But yeah, we can basically find all the drivers because so I'm pretty sure Sony stopped. I'm pretty sure Sony or Vivo stopped making drivers for this computer because because they know it's not going to support Windows 11. Hopefully, I can get the VGA driver so I can put VGA on this computer because on Windows 7, VGA worked a lot fine. 
And I don't know why it doesn't in other OS's. Only HDMI works. And I and no, my VGA cable is not broken. I tested with other devices that I had laying around. I tested it with other computers that they're in this house. And other monitors. And the VGA cable that I have is not broken. If it was broken, it wouldn't be able to show anything when I had Windows 7 installed. Anyway, I'm gonna be right back once everything is done downloading. Wish it will be forever. Great new guy, great news, guys. The VGA works. There's no HDMI plugged in, so it was a driver issue. Thank goodness. So, uh, yeah, basically, I'm not going to go into many detailed Windows 11 because you should already know what it is. But, yeah, let me get the tripod real quick. Oh. Come on, end. So, uh, yeah, now we're back at the normal screen. Now, I don't know if I should, like, like continue with the Windows 11 thing because... Yeah, basically, this thing's just normal Windows 11, but with, but with apps removed. And yeah, and it was actually a driver issue, so uh, yeah, thankfully we got the, I got the driver installed, and it took off exaggerated long time. Thankfully, I didn't record those times wasted. So yeah, but as you can see, I actually got Windows activated for free. I'm not going to tell you how because I do not want I do not I do not want Microsoft to come down to my door knocking so hard and then kill me. I don't want I don't want Microsoft to come to through my door and then and then they're going to like kill me or like do something. So uh, yeah. Now you're having driver issues with your computer when you saw Tiny11, like some ports not working. Then just then just down then then just download all the Windows updates you can. There still are some downloading, so yeah. So that's the end of the video. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to go in depth of what this thing is, what Tiny11 is. You should already know because it's it's just normal Windows 11, but comparable with, with anything. Is it worth it to upgrade? Well, yes, actually it is. Just make sure you don't use it on a, on a spinning hard drive, otherwise it's going to be so slow. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.